Picar said it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. What is your real life example of this? My team at work getting absolutely reamed out and having year end bonuses denied to us because of a major outage on one of our systems. The outage was caused by a bug that we were among the first in the world to experience and the vendor hadn't even published an advisory yet much less released the patch to fix it. There was literally nothing we could have done to avoid it. Wonder how many people are going to quit over that bulls. Not getting a job offer from the interview. Sometimes you didn't do anything wrong. Sometimes the other candidates were just better. Sometimes, you were just as good, but they simply had to make a choice because of the limited amount of vacancies. I worked as a paramedic for 15 years. You can do everything right but if it's not going to happen it's just not going to happen. I was an EMT for 3 years and left to become a flight attendant. When it's your time, it's your time, and there isn't much we can do. Driving comes to mind. A lot of collisions involve one person doing everything they should be and another being an idiot. Although you followed all of the rules of the road you still lost by getting rear-ended by someone on their phone. That's exactly why my dad taught me to drive assuming that everyone else on the road is an idiot. You cannot believe that everyone behind the wheel is a responsible adult. Ibs. Sometimes you can be very careful to avoid all your triggers and still end up stuck in the bathroom for a few hours. Yes and then spending those cursed toilet hours going back over the last day or two trying to work out what you did differently despite knowing you intentionally only eat the same things for this exact reason. I left a security job I hated, I'd been there for 2 years and no luck getting out of there in that time, and got a job as a dispatch assistant at a pen company, loved it there, great workers, got new responsibilities and was actually happy for 3 years, we then covered it and they had to put everyone on furlough. 12 months in my mental health strained, I'm only working 4 hours a week, so I asked boss for more than 4 hours a week, and sadly they couldn't help due to having to try and give everyone a few hours so I went back to my old job, was there for a year before I escaped to what I hope is a better job. Sports. Someone can do absolutely everything right, they can work harder than anybody else, play to the highest level that their talent allows, and they still will not make it professionally. No matter the amount of effort I put in, I simply will never throw a 100 mile per hour fastball. I always remember an episode of Coach where he was watching a video of the best game his team ever played. They still lost. We were good. They were better. I've been spending 2 years and 20k in college debt to become a personal trainer. I'm supposed to graduate this spring. Then my back got ruined in a car crash last month. The prognosis being ongoing pain management. Screw me, right? Cause it's not like I'm trying to escape my current life situation or anything. S. My job as a veterinarian. I can make all the right recommendations and the clients can choose to do all the things. Testing and treatments. And their pets still sometimes die. Poverty. A lot of people living in poverty were simply born into it. It's a slippery slope that can be extremely difficult, though not impossible, to escape. When you start life as a child in poverty, you can do everything exactly right and still wind up spending your entire life there. My brother was always that kind of son who made everything he wasn't supposed to do. I tried to be the best daughter I could and support my mom and everything she needed. Now my brother has a really good relationship with her and I barely talk with her. If you apply for a job, you can do it in the way that exactly every job advisor would tell you. Yes, this is great, as in style and contents of your resume and your letter, the interview, everything. You might have the right experience, the right education, all of it. But even then, if there is only one position, you could lose the job to someone else with just the same qualifications. Sometimes, there's just too much competition to win, even if the person making the decision is wise enough to see what you are worth. And lots of people have very strong opinions about how applicants should present themselves and will summarily dismiss applications or interviews that break one of their personal rules. Sadly lots of people have contradictory opinions on this, so no matter what you do there are going to be some jobs you have no chance of getting. Sacrificed large parts of my childhood in order to be the best, read, most obedient, kid out of myself and my siblings, ended up being nothing more than a scapegoat. Though you could argue that the mistake was listening without question in the first place.
I hope you know that the mistake was your parents not yours. Life is like poker in a way. Your outcomes are a result of your decisions and luck. Sometimes you can make all the right decisions and still have a bad outcome or lose. Also, some people start with better hands. Conversely the opposite can happen where you make poor decisions and win. However making good decisions, no mistakes, puts you in a better position to have a good outcomes. The baby is full. The diaper is fresh. The room is perfect temperature. The naps were timed perfectly. Last feed was timed perfectly. Teeth brushed. Bedtime story done. Lullabies are all finished. Sitting in the dark and the baby still won't sleep. I would be nodding off. Cuddling my baby in the rocking chair and all she wants to do is play with my nose. We're there right now plus a toddler who also doesn't want to sleep. Being the best friend I could be gave her a place to live when she was kicked out of her mom's house. Gave her relationship advice time and time again when her emotionally abusive partner lashed out. Literally wrote her college essay so she could get into school. Gave her a place to live again in adulthood and didn't charge rent for the first few months. Etc. 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 Only to find out after 10 years of one-sided friendship that she was saying really nasty things about me behind my back to another mutual friend. Cut both of these people out of my life and never looked back. Some people are just broken. They don't know how to feel gratitude. And somehow resentment seems more natural for them. Such people will always be takers. And their lives will always be unnecessarily dramatic and chaotic. When I did everything the doctor told me to do when I was pregnant, told him I felt like baby's movements were wrong, was reassured that she was fine, and a week later I was induced to deliver a dead baby at 29 weeks. That tore my heart out, we've experienced a miscarriage and the memory of that night is still painful, I am very sorry to hear what you went through. I was parked when a government official in Mexico hit my car while wasted drunk and I had to pay for damages and also spent the night in jail. I was drunk sleeping in my car on my driveway since my wife was an hour from getting home and I lost my keys. I took an Uber home but had my car keys on me so I took a nap while waiting. Frick Mexico police and government seriously, couldn't even take him to trial because they are protected by corrupt crappy laws and law enforcement officers. As a graphic designer, you can do everything you can following a client's direction coupled with years of experience, a first class degree and several rounds of progressive developments, only to be trumped either by the client's partner or child making something in powerpoint that looks better or if 3 out of 5 people's opinion trumps logic and good taste. The curse of graphic design. People don't know what they don't want until they see it. Went to one of the top law schools in my country. Went through a few pretty good internship programs. Only got low paying jobs which I feel I'm pretty overqualified for. My mom had just started feeling better after a breakthrough in her therapy. Which led to lower doses of drugs. Which in turn made her able to lose 65 kilograms. 140 pounds. She was the happiest I had seen her in all my life. And then brain cancer all of a sudden. I miss her so much. I did this group project as an 8th grader where there were 5 of us and we had to do a presentation. Only me and one other girl did what we were supposed to do and actually followed directions. The other 3 just sat and played on their phones the entire time. When we were supposed to be having group meetings in class, it was really just me and that other girl working by ourselves with the other 3 doing 100% nothing. Even though I worked my butt off, followed all the directions and did everything right, we still got a D. The teacher literally called us in at lunch to tell us we got the worst grade out of any group in the class, and then lecture us on why we have to participate be good teammates. My grade dropped very far because of that and I had to do a lot of extra work to make up for it. Lazy teammates always suck, but if you tell your teacher that the other girls were doing nothing he she won't be able to tell whether or not you're telling the truth. You need to tear out the problem before it grows roots, so ask your teacher to have an eye on them early on. But the teacher begrudging you for not including them is just wrong. Having a relationship not work out because of external factors things beyond your control. Things like the spark dying, someone else's input impacting things, etc. It's happened to me a couple of times and it freaking sucks. I can identify when I've done something wrong. But it's sometimes even worse to feel like you've done everything right. But it still wasn't enough. 
I feel like it is worse and better. On the one hand you feel better because you know you did all you could. On the other hand you feel like crap because all you could still didn't make it work. When you love them totally. Like I did my last partner and you broke every rule made ever choice you could to make it work. Still doesn't work. It is rough. My miscarriage. I did everything right. I ate what I needed to stayed away from what I needed to. Took my vitamins the whole 9 yards. Sometimes it just happens. Happens all the time in music performance and theater. You can be the best musician or performer and still get crap because of favoritism. It's why I left music. Frick that. I've seen opera singers with voices touched by God not make it. And I've seen some truly terrible singers have long, successful careers. Appointed guardian ad litem for a child alleging his uncle abused him. Parents were divorcing over this because dad allegedly knew and did nothing. Had a stay away order put on uncle. Kid calls saying he is at a dad's house and the uncle is there. I show up to get the kid as allowed in the court order and the uncle has locked himself in bathroom with the kid. Police had to come and break down the door. Requested an emergency hearing and told story to court with police officer as witness. I requested dad no longer get visitation. Dad's defense. I know my brother and he would never hurt my kid. Court decided that even though the court order gave me the authority to remove the child if there is a clear and present danger, and there was a stay away order in place that the uncle was knowingly violating, I should have first told the father to ask the uncle to leave, then if that did not work, call the police. The court didn't even put supervised visits with the father in place. Uncle moved in with father while out on bail. You all can guess what happened. Yes. I did eventually succeed in having all visitation stripped from the father but it took the judge on the case losing an election and a new judge put on the bench. I was told in an internal job interview that I'm a great fit for a job, I just needed a little more experience and to finish my degree, was invited to apply again next time the position opened if I'm still interested. I did what they said, got more experience and finished my undergrad program, then applied again as soon as they posted another opening. Didn't even get interviewed and the job went to someone with no degree and much less experience than me. I was working on an incredibly poorly conceived IT project. It was designed the way it was because two companies had merged and one IT department was trying to win leverage over the other. They hired me to implement this design. While I was working on it I realized how bad of an idea it was. When the first component was complete it didn't perform as expected. It was then questioned whether the work I had done was done properly. In order to prove my work was done correctly I had to figure out why it hadn't worked. In doing so I also proved the project was not going to be successful. My job was now no longer necessary. Luckily it took a few months to unwind the project and I saw the writing on the wall and found a position elsewhere in the company. Trying to be the perfect child for my parents by getting perfect grades at poor schools and doing all chores yet still being scolded for small mistakes. Yet I watch them to give my siblings better schools, opportunities, sports, and extracurriculars that they couldn't afford or didn't want to go out of their way for, for me. What a waste of my teen years trying to impress them. I should have raised heck. Being the second best candidate for a job opening. You're not necessarily a bad fit for the job. It's just that someone else was deemed to be a better fit for the job. In all likelihood, you would probably have done the job as competently as the person ultimately chosen. But there's only one opening. Started a job at 18 and spent 10 years working in different departments until I got into management. The company closed soon after and I had to start at the bottom again. My entire job search has been this. Application after application. Training course after training course. Support program after support program. Constant research on how to answer questions and how to write a CV and cover letter and researching the business that I'm applying to. And yet still every application I make is either met with radio silence for the most part, or automated rejection if I'm deemed worthy of correspondence. I've been out of work for 5 years. 8 if you don't count what little employment I did have prior. 13 if you don't count my time at college and university. I'm just and lucky can only go so far. A less grounded individual would cry conspiracy but I'm fortunately not at that stage. Go to university after high school. 2001. Study what you love. 
it will all work out, it didn't. No jobs and sport performance and bachelor's degrees in general becomes the new high school diploma. Employers either don't care or see them as a negative. Almost 10 years later take the reverse strategy. Go to trade school, take the top in demand trade in the province, halfway through a two year diploma the oil industry crashes and the job market is flooded by several times more graduates than there are jobs. Four years later and 400 targeted applications later and not a single interview. I did both strategies. Do what you love follow your passion and do what's responsible and study what's in demand. They both didn't work. Have a healthy lifestyle, don't smoke or drink, and then get cancer. Beat cancer and live even healthier lifestyle. Then cancer comes back with a vengeance. We lost my uncle to a very long hard battle with cancer yesterday. We love you uncle bud. So years ago, before going into my field, I attempted medical school. In my country, you start medical school directly after high school. And at the time, the process was crazy selective. In my university we were 2800 students in the first year. Only 200 something were admitted on the second year. You have two tries, so two years to get to the second year. Three of you really had something happening to you like a disease, big life event. That could explain why you didn't pass on the second try, sometimes you are very close to get admitted and failed you can ask to try a third time. If you fail, you cannot become a medical doctor, or at least it becomes much harder. Anyway, I attempted twice. The first time I failed miserably but I was heavily into my depression and I had no idea how to study effectively. The second time though, I really, really, really worked extremely hard. Like a crazy person. I worked from day to evening, I had a very good study schedule, I was going to class, I was completely on page with classes, I really really worked as hard as I could. Looking back, I don't see how I would have done things differently this year, even years after. I still think that as a 18 19 years old guy living on campus far away from home and alone, I did pretty dang well, but it didn't work. I think I ranked 300 and something and thus missed the selection by 0.9 point. I was completely exhausted and I refused to try a third time. After that, I went into neurobiology, did a bachelor, master and now a PhD and halfway through my bachelor I realized I actually didn't want to be a physician. I liked the knowledge about the human body but the part of taking care of patient, not so much. Plus, like I said above, I really did my best. I tried very hard and it didn't work. It was painful but I went away without remorse about how I didn't try hard enough like some of my peers did. I actually felt sad and liberated at the same time. Most recently would be my remote work during the pandemic. I've busted my butt for almost 2 years getting numerous people praising my efforts, both internal and external. Have stepped up when asked and even helped poorer employees make up their work they fell behind on. A few weeks ago, our board decided that we all have to start coming back physically to the office. I asked my supervisor if I could still work fully remote as my position had no actual need to be physically in the office and I was told no and that I'd have to return and work at least 3 days a week in office. I did everything right, was the model employee, and they didn't give one frick about my plea. I'll now be looking for different opportunities that do offer fully remote opportunities. Knew someone with a fully healthy lifestyle and diet who died of sudden cardiac arrest before 50. Doctors said there was no direct cause or any risky underlying conditions. Grant Amahara from Mythbusters had a thriving career and died from a aneurysm. Work, you can do the right thing, be loyal, be hard working, but as soon as you speak up for yourself, in a polite and professional manner, know you deserve more. Companies will literally turn you around and frick you in the butt. I don't see what I said as a mistake. I see it as the catalyst to see my company's true colors. So frick them. Covid ruining literally everything I had worked towards right as everything was coming together. Had put in the work, made huge sacrifices and got to live the benefits for about a month. Lewis Hamilton. Abu Dhabi 2021. He overtook his main rival Max Verstappen into turn 1. 
pulled off a different strategy, and by the end of the race, he was a good 20 seconds clear of Verstappen. It was nearly impossible for him to lose. Winning the race would win him the championship, against Verstappen, and break the record that he's tied on with Michael Schumacher. A backmaker crashed and the race director yellow flagged the session. A normal race would have had Hamilton win under the yellow flag. Verstappen, due to the advantage of being the one chasing down the leader, was able to put for new types. Hamilton was on a quite old set. The race director took away the yellow flag early, took away all the lapped cars between Verstappen and Hamilton, and let Verstappen attack. Verstappen inevitably won the race. Whether or not it's fair, Hamilton did almost everything right in that race and would have won without the race director's interference. He lost the race though, due to factors entirely out of his control. I graduated with a 4 year degree with no debt and experience in both a mail room and retail management. In 2007, the entire world economy imploded killing all professional momentum for years. I did nothing wrong and was completely fricked. I've heard that quote used in the case of the band The Ramones. They were true to themselves, played every show with the same energy, stuck to routine and regiment, and yet audiences just weren't digging it. It was only around the end of their career that they found any real, tangible success. Oof, my very first relationship I gave my everything. I was loyal even though he lived 2 hours away and didn't know anyone from my town. But lo and behold he cheated on me and fricked up my self esteem for life. I had a brief career as a semi-professional rowing coach. Specifically I coached crews for bumps racing. You race once a day for 4 days, for your race. All 14 crews set off a fixed distance apart at the same time and the object is to catch the crew in front. If you catch that crew you take their place the next day. College rowing is a crazy little world. You have a relatively small pool of potential athletes. A few hundred, if that. And you have to make the best of what you get. That year my first crew, M1, had a pretty good time. The M2 crew not so much. They rowed to the best of their ability. They committed no grave errors. They didn't drop the bung line or crash into the bank or catch any awful boat stopping crabs. But on all four days they got caught. In principle the worst outcome for the week. Winning wooden spoons or simply spoons. On landing we racked our boat and blades and I gathered the lads in the boat bay and had to sum up the campaign. I said something like this. Well we got spoons. And I don't care. Everyone here rode well. Did the best they could. And we had fun doing it. And that's all that matters. Go upstairs and get some beers in you. My dad trying to get sober but getting hit with crap anytime he takes another step to sobriety. VA not doing crap for him. Car title being held because the bank takes ages to talk to the DMV. Car is paid off and in his name. But the bank hasn't sent release forms. DMV not being clear on whether he should renew his license first or get auto insurance first, thus suspending his license another 2 months. Bought a used truck that broke down on his way north 5 hours, luckily was able to get truck fixed cheap. Rehab places providing very little besides a flat surface to sleep on. Meds prescribed by the VA completely screwing him up mentally memory wise. Can't hold a job until he kicks those meds. He's just trying to get himself together and every step of the way has to be a 3 story climb almost. Feels Bidman. I worked incredibly hard on the college newspaper and was in line to be the editor of the school paper my senior year. Then previous year's co-editor became a 5th year senior. The professor who chose the editor thought the optics would be bad if they didn't put her in charge. The professor actually told me this a couple of months into the year after there had been some problems. It's nerdy and forever ago, but was a real tit punch at the time. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.